meteorologist Todd Yacobian. Well, it was an absolutely gorgeous weekend and the leaves changing colors. They're peaking in several areas of the state within the next few days across northern Arkansas. A lot of color already here in central areas of the state, but the peak will be over the next several days to mid-November and southern and eastern Arkansas, the middle part of next month. The pictures are coming in like crazy, hundreds of them in, and I'll share a few with you right now. This is the Little Red River, one of the best fishing spots in the entire state entire country. Donnie Garrison sent that picture in a little fog hovering over the river probably early in the morning. Lou Sorrells of Harrison. That's Maplewood Cemetery. The brilliant reds. And look at this. John Hicks along Chenal. And I'm sorry, Cantrell Road sent that one in. And this is from Mickey and Lacey Noble. Mount Magazine. You can see them standing there on the rock. And Deborah Waterford, Waterford sent this one in. And here's another beautiful one along a creek in Heber Springs from Donnie Garrison. Now let's switch gears and talk about that trick-or-treat forecast. We've been watching this forecast for several days now, and there really is no change. We even try to spice it up a little bit. We found some towns across Arkansas that kind of have that Halloween feel. Can you believe it? There's a pumpkin bin in Woodruff County. 67 degrees, your forecast high tomorrow. Black Cat in Mississippi County, 64, and Yellville at about 65 degrees. Here in Little Rock tomorrow, we're expecting temperatures to hit 70 degrees, but by 5 o'clock, 69, as soon as that sun sets, which is at 616, there's a lot of dry air in place and cloud-free sky, so we'll start to cool fairly rapidly. Lead. By 7 o'clock, we'll be around 60 degrees. In the 50s by 8 o'clock, mid-50s by 9, and by 10 o'clock, 54 degrees. And I don't know about you, but that's when the uh, porch light goes out and the trick-or-treating the candy giveaway. It shuts down at my house, so uh, it will be quite cool. Jackets probably for some of those costumes for some of the kids. Temperatures at this hour cooling down nicely. A mixture of 40s and 50s. We're at 46 degrees in Russellville. It's 53 degrees here in Little Rock. It's 50 degrees in Pine Bluff and 53 in Monticello. Temperatures are about where they should be for this time of the year across much of the central portions of the country. But we have been dealing with a lot of cold air and snow. They're digging out of the snow in portions of New England. Two to three feet. 3 million plus people without power because of a massive early season snowstorm. We have some video coming out of Pennsylvania where the roads are just slushy now and the plowing continues, but more than 3 million lost electricity from this very heavy wet snow. It collected on the leaves that haven't fallen yet and that weighs them down. They snap on power lines. The power goes out. Now they're dealing with restoring that. But all that mess, at least the snow, has moved away towards the north. And in its wake, we have high pressure and just a few high clouds with reinforcing shots of pleasant air. That's our weather for the next couple of days. Let's take you through it with Futurecast 3D. Nothing coming through that with that front. High pressure builds in. We'll get a return flow around that, so temperatures will be a little bit more milder as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. This storm system will arrive, this frontal boundary, by Thursday with a pretty good chance for rain. So that's our next chance for rainfall Thursday and some thunderstorms could be involved with that as well. Temperatures tomorrow, lower 70s and upper 60s for places like Maumelle, Benton, Hot Springs, on over to Lone Oak, Greenbrier, Heber, and Conway and Searcy should hold in the 60s while Russellville tops out at 70. Your forecast for tonight, mostly clear and winds out of the southwest around 5. We'll go 42 degrees here tomorrow, 70. Perfect conditions, mostly sunny conditions. Here's your seven-day forecast. Warming into the mid-70s Tuesday and Wednesday. There's that next chance for rain Thursday, dry Friday, and more showers and thunderstorms. Small chances right now for next weekend with readings back into the 70s and dropping off into the 60s. You know what else next Sunday is? Mm. The time change. We fall back. Ah, uh, see, Todd's always getting ahead of the trends. I'm trying to because <laughs> I need an extra hour of sleep, but don't we all? Absolutely. So again, if we want to trick or treat at Todd's house, what time do we have the, to be the, there? The porch lights go out well before 10, actually. I would say about 9. See, so. I'm surprised you're answering your own door. I know normally <laughs> a Halloween tradition, you answer the door at Ned Permy's house so that he coming. can rest up. Yeah, Ned and Barry and Melinda's. I got to go between all three. Oh, it's going to be a busy night. Oh, Thanks, it's going to be a fun night.